Pi. What is pi? Well, pretty much all of us know that pi is approximately 3.14, but that doesn't really tell us much about pi. What is pi? How did it get its name? Who discovered it? And how did they approximate it? Well, that's a lot to explain. So I've challenged myself to cover all of these bases in 3 minutes and 14 seconds. So without further ado, I present to you the complete history and complete explanation of pi in 3 minutes and 14 seconds. Somewhat. Here we go. Pi. Not the kind you eat, but the kind you plug into your calculator to solve equations involving circles, spheres, and various other shapes. Most commonly approximated as 3.14, or 22 over 7, pi is an irrational number that is usually represented by the Greek symbol pi. Yes, the symbol as well as the number is referred to as pi. An irrational number, in case you didn't know, is a number with decimal places that spiral on infinitely with no discernible pattern. For a more formal definition of pi, let us look to the most forbidden of research sources... Wikipedia. Pi is commonly defined as the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. Hmm... Okay, look at this circle here. Are you looking at it? Look at it. Are you looking at it now? Okay, good. The diameter of this circle, which is, as you probably know, the distance from one side of a circle to a point on the direct opposite side, is 23. And the circumference, which is the distance around the entire circle, is about 72.25. If you divide the circumference by the diameter, you're going to get 3.14. This applies to all circles. If you get a tape measure and measure the diameter and the circumference of a circle, the ratio of the diameter to the circumference will always be pi, or approximately 3.14. Let's talk a little bit about the history of pi. Well, let's start with the most basic of questions, which is why did they name this somewhat aberrant number after a baked dish which is usually made of a pastry dough casing that covers or completely contains a filling of very sweet or savory ingredients? <gasps> I will answer your question now. The symbol of pi is actually a letter in the Greek alphabet. In both English and Greek, this letter, and therefore the number pi represents, is pronounced simply as pi. Popularizing this notation of pi is a man from the past who published a book in 1736 in which he referred to the ratio of the circle's diameter to its circumference as the Greek letter pi. This man's name was Leonard Euler. Yes, I know it looks like Euler, but it's pronounced as Euler. You might have heard of him. He didn't have a ton to do with the actual discovery of pi, but he's still a pretty cool guy. This leads me to my next point. Who discovered pi? There's still a lot of debate about this. Some believe it to have been first approximated by the Egyptians because the construction of their pyramids leaves evidence of the architect's possible knowledge of pi. Others say no, it was the Babylonians in the 19th century BC. Gosh! So let's skip forward a bit in history where things get a little bit clearer. The first recorded algorithm for rigorously calculating the value of pi was created by a man named Archimedes. Ar Archimedes? Ar Archimedes? Arch Archimedes, Ar Archimedes, Archim Archimedes, Archimedes, Ar Archimedes. So Archimedes devised a method of calculating pi by using regular polygons that were circumscribed and inscribed within and around a circle. An inscribed shape is a shape that is drawn within another shape without flexing or changing its dimensions. A circumscribed shape is a shape that's drawn around another shape without bending or flexing its dimensions. Archimedes computed upper and lower bounds of pi by drawing a regular hexagon inside and outside of a circle, and successively doubling the number of sides until he reached a 96-sided regular polygon. Any more sides and the universe implodes. Oh god, help me! By calculating the perimeters of these polygons, and then dividing that number by the diameter of the circle, he proved that 223 divided by 71 is less than pi is less than 22 over 7. Or, 3.1408 is less than pi is less than 3.1429. This was a method of solving for pi that is accurate up to two decimal places. Both the upper bound and lower bound numbers contain 3.14! Nailed it!